Okay everyone, just a real quick video on the Chameleon wire wheels. Uh, most of you will recognize these kind of, of wire winders. And you can 3D print these if you have a 3D printer. And Various companies sell them. This is the Chameleon one. They sell them in different colors now to, to go and coincide with the color of your wire that they sell. Um, and then I got this wire here, 100 feet on Amazon, just 16 gauge basic uh, cheaper wire. Uh, and then a banana plug. And I've got the Chameleon Puck. There's a puck made for Wolfer Recoil and such as well. So what these wire winders do is it allows you to, to kind of easily deploy a single counterpoise wire at various lengths. So you, you're creating a variable length counterpoise wire, counterpoise wire. The small one holds 60 feet of 16 gauge and the larger one holds 90 feet of 16 gauge. So if you had a single counterpoise of uh, say 20 meters or whatever and you wanted a half wave length, you just roll it out 10 meters. For 40 meters, a half wave length, you roll it out 20 meters. Um, and then quarter, you know, the length of quarter wave or eighth wave or whatever else. So let me put this together and we'll show you how it works. And you can use this both ground mounted or elevated vertical. Um, and of course this can be attached to any vertical antenna, the Wolf River Coil, it can be attached to the Alpha Vertical, uh, the Chameleon Vertical of course, they've got the new uh, portable resonant vertical or if you're using one of their hybrid micro or mini with the military whips you can use this as a single counterpoise and again using that single counterpoise kind of gives you a directionality to it uh, to a vertical slightly um, so let's go ahead and put these together and we'll see what it looks like okay so what we're gonna do is if you've uh, put line on a fishing line on a fishing reel it's a similar concept so what we're going to do is we're going to put it through this ring at the bottom that slides back and forth. It makes it easier to keep it uh, evenly rolled on. And I'm going to bring it in. And I'm going to, I'm going to put it on the same, with the same curve that it is on here. You don't have to do that. but So once it's through the ring here, then we're going to put it through the little hole here. Right through there. And we're just going to tie a knot or double knot if you want to make sure it doesn't go through. One knot's not going to go through. So we'll tie that nice and tight and you can see that's not going to go through. And then, like I said, if you've done fishing line or something, I like to try to keep the, the line a little bit taut when you're, when you're winding it. And you just wind it. And the good thing about this is it's got this lever uh, so that it, it doesn't un unwind. It's not going to go further even if you drop it. It's only going to go though that far. So it's a hundred foot roll and this holds up to 90, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to wind it all on, on here and then I'm going to take, I probably could hold that and make it quieter, and then I'm going to take uh, uh, just 10 feet off of it so that I have 90 feet of it on here. And then I'll finish getting this wound on. You can see you've kind of got to control where it's going, I guess. It's not automatic. And kind of just let it go back and forth. Just like fishing a uh, fishing reel and then once it's all done um, I'll come back on and we'll continue the video I'll show you what it's done and I'll put the banana plug on okay I went ahead and put the whole 100 feet on here and it's well within the spool so I'm gonna leave it on and we'll see how it performs and if I have issues or something uh, you know I can always cut cut off the 10 feet but they suggest 90 feet of 16 gauge um, this thing not going by itself back and forth, um, I, I kind of had to twist it like this to get it to go back and forth, so that's not you know, quite as good as, as like smooth as it should be. I don't know, maybe if I can lubricate that or something. But anyway, we got it on, it's holding tight, and you can see this lever here keeps it from going backwards. So now what we're gonna do is, whoop, if you're not putting a, a soldering a ring on there to just go at the base of a, you know, around the bolt, on an antenna. We've got these banana these banana plugs and these again came with the ground radio kit from Chameleon. It's six of them. You just unscrew this, take this off and this has two screws on it, one on either side. Hopefully it's focused. Little teeny flathead screws and it gives you a screw, little screwdriver. And you're gonna, I'm gonna unscrew the little screws in here. I'm gonna, I doubled this up because it's a single wire so that it has more to grip slide it in, tighten down the two screws, and then we'll screw this on and 
we'll be ready to go. All right, guys, I finished. I got the banana plug on the end of there. Uh, and then I've got the personal resident vertical, the new product from Chameleon over here, spiked into the ground with the puck installed. So what I'll do is I'll slide this in the puck. And these are pretty tight inside this puck, so it'll hold it. And then what I'll do is I'll wheel out however, whatever length I want for the single counterpoise wire. And I put the whole 100 feet on there. It seems to fit just fine. And it even has some extra room. Um, and then I'll roll it out to however long I want, depending on the frequency I'm using. Or I'll roll it in if I need to make it shorter or longer. So let's plug it in and let's see how it works here. And again, if you're using a ring connector, you'd have to you know install that underneath. So what I do is I pull that lever. And then I just keep it straight out and walk out. And however far I want, depending on the frequency, and if you're doing ground mounted, you just lay it down like that. And then you've got a ground mounted vertical uh, with a counterpoise wire that makes it some, you know, gives it some directionality. And what's cool about this too is if you want an elevated vertical, it's got this hole right here. So you could elevate your vertical, let's say up on a tripod five, six feet. You could attach this to the, the banana plug or attach the counterpoise and then also attach a paracord and string it out however far you want to a tree or another tripod, slide it through that hole, and then this just slides on that paracord at whatever point you want and you stop it. So you could have a, a raised vertical with your raised counterpoise wire. So it's pretty durable, um, well built. The only thing that was weird was kind of, you, you kind of had to manually get this to go back and forth when winding it. Um, not a major deal, it wound just fine, it comes out just fine. And then when you're done, of course, keep it, keep it kind of taut and you can pull that lever to keep it quiet and reel it in or leave the lever on and it'll keep clicking. So roll it up, pop it off. So these new banana plugs, I know a lot of people are getting those things uh, set up. It makes it real easy for a quick setup and, and tear down. But recommended if you want to spend the money on it. If you don't, do the same kind of thing. The hole up here for uh, raised counterpoise and 3D print your own if you want. But as far as this product goes, it's very durable, very useful. It keeps everything nice and tight. And even with that thing, I can, you know, put a carabiner on it, hook it on something. So anyway, great product. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and su subscribe. 73, everybody.